there we go. So here we are, second meeting of the GSOC Jenkins Docker Base Quick Start. Um, it's our first weekly meeting. We had the Kickstart meeting last week. And today we have, of course, Ashudosh, uh, Biaviento, and also Jean-Marc. Uh, just listening for the time being. Uh, I hope Said will join a few minutes from now. So, of course, last meeting was, what, four days ago? So not so much um, was done during last meeting and uh, now. And, of course, it was a weekend also. So <laughs> that's also why we didn't progress that much. So we had a list of action items when we saw each other last week. There were some things I had to do, some things Ashutosh had to do, and a few things got checked. So we have progressed. Um, so we now have the Zoom meeting invite uh, linked to the Jenkins account. That's why we are able to record, and the recording will be available then later on on the community Jenkins.io website in the post that we created especially for that. Uh, the first video of the first meeting has been posted on this community post, so I've done my chores. Um, I was supposed to start a discussion also with the infra team because, as you know, we hope to have our Docker-based quick start examples part of the Jenkins IO website and tested on a regular basis. So we'll have to discuss with the infra team so that they can help us to automate that. So I started that last Friday and we'll discuss uh, about that later on, but we will have to create a post on communityjenkins.io and tag people from the infra team so we can discuss with the infra team and the rest of the community about this automation process. Uh, then Ashutosh had to create the Google Calendar meeting invite, which he did, because we are the four of us in this meeting, so that worked. And uh, what else? Uh, he was supposed to give, um, to create, uh, to modify, sorry, the document uh, of, um, you know, the GSOC document linked to this project on the Jenkins IO website, which he did during uh, the weekend. Thanks, Beviento, for your review, by the way, uh, because it allowed it to be merged. So that's a uh, first win. Congrats for, <laughs> for that. And that's uh, there are also a few action items that we didn't have time to do. So I put them with other action items on the um, action items of today. There we go. So, um, Ashtosh, how are you feeling today about uh, the progress and the project in general? Yes, uh, I'm feeling good. The, uh, the only thing left was the blog. Uh, I'm yeah. working on it right now. Uh, I think I'll complete it today. So I'll uh, I'll uh, post it in uh, draft as a draft PR. Uh, cool. Since you mentioned it in uh, notes. Yeah, the thing is. I was, uh, <laughs> that's not a problem at all, but I was kind of frustrated because I saw that you created um, a pull request and say, um, I won't have a look at this during the weekend because we didn't ask Ashutosh to work on the weekend, but he did nonetheless. And I wanted to review it this morning and then I discovered that Berviento, you had reviewed it, that Chris had pinged us, and that it was already merged, which is fine because, of course, my review would have been looks good to me, so no value added on my side. So just during the weekend, um, if the other are okay with that, maybe you could create a draft pull request instead of a pull request, so that mentors can have um, a little bit of time to assess and to review the PR. I know it's not 100% um, um, fine because our meeting is on Monday, uh, pretty early for us uh, in Europe. So if ever you were making a draft PR, um, we would maybe not be able to review or get it merged before the meeting. but. Yeah, I don't know. That's just a proposal. That's not a strict rule. If you don't agree with that, 
that's okay with me. Uh, it's just because I was not able to review during the weekend. I chose no, not I, to review, to be precise. I'll keep it in mind to post it as draft PR in, on weekends. Okay, if you can, and if others don't mind. Fine with me. Thanks for understanding. Um, how did you find the review process, Ashutosh? Review process was good. Uh, I, uh, I worked, it worked fine for me. Everybody was nice and helped me to help me with the PR. So, yeah, it was good. Okay. Um, so, I have a few action items we'll discuss, but you told me that you were already ro working on the blog post uh, for the project, which is cool. So, that will be able to tick uh, on uh, before next meeting. Uh, then you created, uh, I, I saw that in the Gitter channel, you created your own repo uh, to host your experiment. That's right? Yes, experiment, yes. So... I would like to get the link uh, into the project page. If that's not an error, John Mark should tell us if it is. But I think that the list of the different things should be listed in that uh, project page. Yeah. So, oh, thank you, John Mark. <laughs> so, so I, I confirmed is the way to go. So you can start with a repo in whichever uh um what's the name on github uh domain or uh, whatever organizational yeah organization exactly just make sure that the links are correctly uh published uh to to continue and try to use the pr method this is the best way for people to uh, review so uh don't push directly to the main branch because then people don't see what's going on and you don't give them a chance to, to review. My two cents of advice on that, but well done. Thank you, Jean-Marc. Uh, the thing is we have, I wouldn't say branches, but yes, we will have to write some documentation on Jenkins.io. So of course you've got your own fork and you will have to use branches on your fork uh, before making a PR. I haven't checked, but of course, I guess that's what you did with um, your yeah. Jenkins project. Okay, uh, because master to master, that's a mess. But then we have another repo, which is not linked to Jenkins.io, where you store your Docker Compose files for experimentation. And it would be also fine to use branches for that, even if we don't um, make pull requests to another repo, just to keep things well separated and to have a main branch that always does work and all other that could be called feature branch or whatever, maybe Berviento or say it will have better ID than I have. But, you know, when you're working on a part particular a subset of what we are asking you to do, maybe uh, create a branch and then make a PR to your own main branch uh, so we can review and whenever this will be accepted merge, even if it's your own repo, that would be better, I guess, to have something that always work on the main branch. But I guess that later on, we'll have to make another uh, branch uh, on your fork of Jenkins.io repo, so your Docker Compose file get integrated into the Jenkins.io website. But for the time being, we're working with a standalone uh, repository with your own examples. But please uh, do use branches uh, whenever you are starting with a new Docker Compose or a new feature that you want to implement. Uh, Berviento, would you have anything to add regarding branches, repos, and so on? Mm, I think uh, I should just need to add us as a reviewer because sometimes uh, I lost his PR. Okay. Fine with you, Ashutosh? I didn't understand what he said. Can you repeat it? Uh, I mean, when you create a PR, uh, okay. you need to add us uh, the matters as a review list. Okay, okay, I'll do it. 
I'll remember it for next time. Yeah. Cool. Uh, while we're there, uh, it's only the beginning of the meeting. Um, do you plan to take some uh, vacation, uh, Ashutosh and Berviento, or are there a few weeks where you won't be available during the summer? Uh, I I will probably be uh, uh, won't be able to work for two three days while I'll be traveling. Uh, that's it. I'll uh, inform you beforehand, but it will mostly be two three days, not more than that. Okay. Um, do as you please. Uh, the only thing I'm asking is to get to know that before it happens. Uh, no, no rush, no pressure. But whenever you know the dates, please let us know so that we don't expect anything from you during these days. Um, I should take some vacation during July or August, but I don't know yet about the dates. So I'll also let you know when I won't be available. Uh, Bervianto, anything about your time off vacation or anything? Mm, I don't have any vacation date. But okay. yeah, I have some public holiday, but not, not much. Got it. Uh, I should maybe share my screen because I'm entering some notes and <laughs> you can't see that. Oh, I thought I was doing it too bad. Um, there we go. Okay. Uh, so what do I have in the action items? So Ashutosh, I'm asking you to modify, so make a new PR, if you don't mind, uh, about the project page, because I'd like to see um, the link to the community blog post, you know, the blog post, uh, which is about the videos and so on, you know, the, the meetings. Uh, I think it would be interesting to have this link in the Jenkins project page. Come on. There you go. So first time being, there is only one video and a link to the Google Doc, but I'd like this link to be part of the Jenkins uh, GSOC project page. Then, I like it. Uh, thank you. Oh. I would also like to get the link to the weekly Zoom meeting that we're having now, you know, on the project page. So if you can extract the URL from the Google Calendar invite, that would be fine, so that if anyone wants to join, is able to join. Um, what else? I haven't seen that in the other projects, but if you have it, I'd like to add the link to the GSOC office hours on Thursday, the link on the project page, uh, because there's already um, a paragraph, some a line about the um, office hours meetings, but there is no link for the time being. Um, yeah, I think that's the same thing, so I should get rid of that. Okay. Uh, then, I know it's pretty early, uh, but you could start uh, the discussion on uh, communityjenkins.io uh, about the mandatory steps to get automation started. You know, whenever you have a Docker Compose that does work for you, we'd like to add it someday in the Jenkins.io and it should be linked to an existing documentation, but also, and that's the main point, we'd like it to be tested on a regular basis, thanks to the Jenkins infra team. So we have to start a discussion with them uh, and the rest of the community to know how we'll be able to implement that. For example, they did something special for another GSOS project, which is um, Jenkins plugin health. You know, they had to add something to test regularly and so on. So that's the same kind of things. So the first thing would be to create a community Jenkins IO blog post and then tagging the infra team in that post. Uh, I think I have written something about that. Uh, yeah. So I have started discussing with them and they asked me to first create a post in community Jenkins IO. So the 
whole community knows about that. And then I think we they will ask us to create a ticket, an issue into their help desk, which is help desk dot. I, I put the link uh, in the action item. You know, but for the time being, we should not create um, a ticket into the help desk. It's way too early. We don't have anything to share. We don't have a Docker compo that has been validated by the mentors and so on. So no need to start that. You know, the help desk is there. But please create, whenever you have time, no rush, um, a discussion on communityjenskins.io. Is it OK for you? Yes, it's OK. OK, cool. Uh, what else do I have? Uh, the link to the Gitter channel, yes, please add that also on the project page. And okay. yeah. And that's all I had for the action items. I said I would have discussion with the docs SIG to know how to modify the existing documentation. But uh, for things, it's on Thursday, I guess. So it won't happen before this Thursday. And we don't have anything to propose yet. So I just start the discussion that there is nothing concrete that I can share with the platform seek for time being. So that will just be an introductory discussion. Okay for you? Yes, that's it. Cool. Um, Bergianto, is there anything you would like to ask, to add, a comment, a question, something? No problem. Okay. Thank you. Um, Ashutosh, what about you? Is there any uh, concern, question? I was wondering if uh, the SIG team uh, or the infra team uh, records their meetings so I can get to know the people in that work in their teams yes indeed uh the infra team meeting i should start uh, to search for the um, links um i will write it down and docs office hours so i will let you know of course uh, there are some uh, videos. It's available on the Community Jenkins IO, by the way. If you make a search about Infra Team, you should find the, the videos. Uh, there is one post per week because it's on every Tuesday. So if you want to see what's going on, it should be fairly easy to find that in Community Jenkins IO. Um, most of the time, the people we see in the infra team meetings are Mark E. Oh, wait, Mark, wait. Um, Damien Duportal, Damien Duportal, <laughs> I guess, Hervé Lemur, uh, Stéphane Merle. And I'm there, but just listening because I do nothing which has a link to the infra team. I just try to understand what's going on. That's why I'm part of this meeting. But I do nothing in that area. And for the docs office hours, most of the time it's also Mark Wait, is just about everywhere. And Kevin Martins. And most of the time I'm also there just to listen to what they have to say. I don't participate that much in the documentation part of Jenkins. Um, does that answer your question? Yes, it does. I'll try to see the videos and understand what they work on. Okay, uh, there are quite a few hours, <laughs> so uh, it could take some time. But on uh, the blog post, uh, on the post which are associated to the videos on communityjenkins.io, you will find some summaries, so you don't have to listen and watch the whole video. Uh, just have a look at a few of them. Uh, so you'll see what it's all about. And maybe try to find the post on uh, communityjenkins.io um, regarding, you know, the modifications the Infra team has done for the Jenkins Health plugin, you know, because they had to make something that looks more or less that what they have to do for our project. 
but that's not mandatory. If you don't find it, that's okay. I'll ask it about on Gitter channel if I don't find it. Okay, great. Um, any other question? No, uh, not right now. Okay, so what's missing? I'm looking at my checklist. So I think you are kind of familiar with the contributing process. So you know how to use Git, uh, the workflow, the communication channels, all of that is pretty clear for you, I guess. Yes, that's clear. Okay. Uh, the communication channels, we agreed to use Gitter uh, yes. for the most part. Slack is still there, but we may not be that active on Slack. We do prefer to use Gitter. And one of the arguments against uh, Slack was that three months from now, all we wrote will just disappear because it's a free version. Yeah. Um, in comparison, Gitter should stay as long as Gitter exists, hopefully. Uh, we saw last time that you had your own local development environment and that you were able to launch Docker Compose command. Yes. Cool. Um, what has to be done is to know how you will divide your time um, along the next 12 weeks. So we should have maybe a quick review on your proposal, if you don't mind, so we know how you think you will progress during the 12 weeks um, after the bonding period. Okay, for you, uh, if you have it with you, uh, could you please share your screen or I do it myself if you have a problem I'll finding. share the link. You share the link. Okay. Thank you. Okay, so automated testing, this one may be delayed because it should take some time to discuss with the uh, infra team. Uh, the documentation could be done in parallel, I guess. So coding begins on the 29th. Ooh, seven days from now. Scary. Uh, <laughs> so define, yeah, we don't, yeah. Extend Docker Compass file. Okay, extend. Okay, great. Um, so it looks like we are worried for success. That would be cool. So we're not on the coding period yet. I, <laughs> I know that should be frustrating for you, but we have to do our chores first. So administrative documentation, blog post, and so on. That's the way we're supposed to. You, if you ever want to start, uh, bec um, aside from that, uh, a few code, a few Docker Compose or whatever, of course, you are not restricted. You can do it nonetheless. But we have to do first what we're supposed to do with uh, that uh, time period. You know, we have to make all the blog posts, the documentation, the, cha the discussion channel and so on. We have to do that. And then if you still have time, of course, you could start something. But that's not mandatory. Uh, I'm still looking at my checklist. Okay, that looks 
pretty good for the time being. Jean-Marc, uh, while you're there, uh, don't jump on your mic button, but um, anything you would like to, to say, a comment, a question, something I forgot? I needed to find a screen back where the Zoom meeting of course. was going on. <laughs> Sorry about that. No, it sounds Never. good. So it it sounds um, uh, you're 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 exactly matching the goals of the bonding period, and uh, so all lights green, go go go. <laughs> Thank you so much, Jean-Marc. Thank you very much. Uh, yeah, I was afraid I would have forgotten something really important. If that's not the okay, case, that's perfect. We're Thank you here for your together help. to to think and put ideas together and adapt to the situation. So don't worry. Cool. Let's go. Thanks a lot. Um, Ashutosh, just in case you would start coding, uh, <laughs> which I totally understand. Um, during uh, for your proposal um, used blue ocean and so on, and I know we already yeah. had that discussion. Yeah, we don't want to use blue ocean anymore because it's not. It, it won't see any updates or features. Yeah, uh, yeah. it's 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 officially uh, end of life, and yeah, the replacement is still in works. So what we would like is to have the simplest Jenkins instance possible, which is just one Jenkins controller and one Jenkins agent working together um, and just one very simple job, if you don't mind. And that's all. Okay. Yes, we so even... we decided the first one should be this as simple as possible. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, the thing is we want to make the path as smooth as possible for newcomers because when I was a newcomer last year, uh, I had some trouble uh, figuring out why I had to create a Docker file, why there was Blue Ocean, why there were so many cryptic arguments and comments. I just want people to make something like Docker Compose up and bam, they've got the Jenkins working. And I think that's the um, foundation of all the rest of your uh, project this summer. So please do something as simple as possible. And even if there is no job configured for the time being, that would even be fine with me, you know, because for jobs, you would have to do something kind of complicated because uh, you have to, you know, copy files from the repo uh, from the directory, sorry, put it into a GitHub repo and so on. That's not, you know, it doesn't work out of the box Docker with jobs for Jenkins. So even if there is no job, fine with me, just a controller with an um, uh, agent. Fine with you? Yes, it's fine with me. Thanks a lot. <laughs> Thanks. Cool. Um, so I'll write it down if ever Ashutosh wants to start. Instance, which is one controller with one agent without Blue option. Uh, I think there was something else I wanted to add, but I forgot. Ouch. Okay, uh, we'll see. Um, I know I'm getting really pushy uh, on <laughs> this third example. It's not my GSOC project, it's yours. But I let you go for the rest of the project, but for the very first step, I really want to make it as simple as possible. So um, don't expect me to be as pushy as I am now for the rest of the project, because it's your project. But for this one, I know I can be a pain in the neck, but 
it will go away with the rest of the project. I, I agree with you for uh, being the first one as simple as possible. Okay. Uh, and I know that could prove difficult, but whenever you don't agree with me, don't hesitate to let me know. Uh, as I just told you, it's not my project, it's yours. Okay? I'll let you know. <laughs> do as you can. <laughs> uh, Beavianto, do you have anything to add? No, I don't have. Cool. Uh, any last question or comment, Ashutosh? Uh, no, no, not right, not right now. I'm okay. Sure. If you have anything, of course, we have the Gitter channel, so don't hesitate. Yes. Uh, I should be notified whenever something happens on the channel. I think I configured it correctly on my side. Uh, Jean-Marc, before we wrap it up, would you have anything to add? No, very good job. You're, you're moving ahead, as I said. So Cool. Uh, thanks a lot for coming. It's Monday morning, pretty early for you. So <laughs> that's uh, very kind of you to have come to this meeting anyhow. Um, so it looks like we reach the end. So we should see each other one week from now or even sooner than that if we are able to attend the GSOC office hours meeting on Thursday. And by then, whoever has a question, a comment, or whatever, don't hesitate to use the Gitter channel. Uh, this video should be posted on the community blog post um, within 24 hours. Uh, if you ever forgot uh, what we said, it should be there. Okay? Thanks a lot, everyone. Have a wonderful week, uh, if possible, and see you later. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye, thank you. Have a nice week. Good work. Thank you.